Runner goes, and Lamb hits it in the air to center field. Looking for the single, instead he's got Robert. Wow, what a catch by Gary Matthews Jr. To take away a homer. Don't forget the cycle. You might have seen the catch of the year right there. You may not see a better catch than that. All year, maybe for a decade, this is a marvelous play. Finds the wall, times the leap, plants the foot, gets extended. My goodness. Spider-Man. And Vigio still the only cyclist for the... Everybody on their feet at Globe Life Park. The 3 0. Bounce off. Base hit in the left field. Around second, heading to third, Mazzara. Beltro goes for two. And it's a stand up double. And there it is, number 3,000 for Adrian Beltre. Yankees Baseball on Yes is brought to you in part by Domino's. Order online and track your order. And by your tristategmc.com. And by Remax. Nobody sells more real estate than Remax. Look at that wow. hot dog. Wow. They do things bigger in the state of Texas, don't they? And that's called the boomstick. I guess it's a family hot dog. Better be. Full meal right there. <laughs> Von Nova back to work here in the bottom of the fourth. Oh my goodness. What? Wow. Look at the raw on you. Just toss a few of those on there, too. It's a lot to handle right there. That should be at least nine innings. High fly ball, center field. The Shields going back near the wall. Leaps and he brings one back. How about that? What a way to win the Miner lost the perfect game, but a center fielder, Delano DeShields, brings back a home run and preserves the 3 0 lead. And Delano is getting better and better at his position as well. It's not the first time that he's made this play. There's one up against the wall. Covered 93 feet going after that ball. Tornado right there. There goes the Yeah, we are brand new tar. Oh, here goes the
All right, tornado's over. Shortstop Peralta comes home and Gentry's caught in a rundown and tagged by Avila. But the runners move up to second and third, two out. Michael Young, who got the first RBIs of this inning and game for the Rangers, tied it up with a two run double earlier in this inning. We're back with the bases loaded. Into right field, slicing down the line, fair. The ball stays in play. Two runs will score. And Hamilton had to put the brakes on around third. It's nine to two in the third inning. Put the barrel on it. That ball ripped again into the upper deck and over. Did that go over the upper deck <laughs> and out of the ballpark? I think so. The fans are cheering. Holy moly. It was almost like the natural when they hit the light stanchion. That was up over that roof. Good night. Well, that's that's battling up there. Behind in the count with two strikes. Follow off several high fastballs. Take some close changeups down and away on the 3-2 pitch as well. And work a walk. There's the foul ball. Somewhere up near that light standard, it hits on top of the roof and goes all the way out of there. There is with a 2 0 pitch. And this ball smashed high and deep to center field. It is long gone. Are you kidding me? Wow, Joey Gallo just hit that one a mile to center field. I don't know if I've ever seen a ball hit up there. Breaking ball is hammered. Deep into left. And game five is tied.
In the air to left. Down the line. This ball ends it. You've probably heard about the two pound chicken tender that is on the menu this year at Globe Life Park called the Fowl Pole. What's up, guys? This is Zach Hample in Arlington, Texas, already inside Globe Life Park. Just landed a little while ago at the airport, rushed over here, and as you can see, there's not a whole lot of action behind me on the field. It's 103 degrees today, perfectly sunny, but because it's so hot, that's why the Rangers are not taking BP. Quite the operation up here starting to take shape. Right now it's pretty much just a hole in the ground, but you can see way off in the distance, the stands are starting to loom up behind the area that's going to be home plate. 10 different cranes working on the construction, lots of workers out there as well. And right next to the ballpark, you have this whole area that reminds me of Ballpark Village in St. Louis, where you're gonna have stores, bars, restaurants, a great place to hang out before games. And then way off in the distance, you have AT&T Stadium, home of the NFL Cowboys. Cowboys